That's me. Me and Billy in the same frame. Oh my god, so cool. Holy shit, there he is. Look at, oh my, look at him. John, you've been doing this all morning. What? I can't, I'm not allowed to look at the four photos that I took last night. Look at him, he's just like laying down on the catwalk. That's, that was so funny. Yeah. Billy, Billy's so funny. Hold on, hold on, look at this one. Like, that's the one where he's got the lay, Billy got laid. <laughs> See that? Like, he's got the lay on, that dude gave it to him, remember? Why are you so hell bent on filming? Like, can we do this later? I, you know what? I want to watch this clip again. Hold on. John! Woo! Billy! What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with John from Air TV yet again, and we're gonna be talking about the Green Day concert. This was actually both of our very first times seeing Green Day live, and I'm pretty sure it was a religious experience for you. <laughs> it's something that transcended <laughs> most ordinary life experiences. In fact, pretty I would say all ordinary life experiences for me. Best night of our lives. <laughs> yes. much, oh my goodness, this was definitely hands down the Best, best concert like seriously they are the greatest live band it's been like on our concert bucket list for so long both of us forever and, and pretty much as long as i've known about them it's exactly. been on my bucket list same here and it's just been years and years they haven't either come to our cities or else we couldn't make it for whatever reason and just finally they came back we got pit tickets somehow jaw dropped whenever that happened <laughs> because it wasn't supposed to happen no. we bought other tickets before that and yeah. then we just tried again a couple more times and i guess somebody i'm assuming they were in someone's cart and they just decided I did not to get them and then I refreshed the page them. at the right time and I was like wait hold on am I seeing this pit, are you pit, kidding me pit, bye 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 Just bye bye it. <laughs> exactly bye now ask questions oh later man, so worth the money it wasn't even that expensive either but mm -mm. seriously like the pit honestly was pretty small like I thought it was going to be more extended back but and it was yeah. honestly pretty friendly in the pit too yeah I was yeah. I was actually kind of I wasn't concerned but I didn't know what to really expect from the crowd I didn't know if it was gonna be like a bunch of dude bros like punching and moshing or if it was gonna be like older adults it was a nice kids. mix it really was there were like a lot of different type of people around us and nobody was really that aggressive or pushy it was just like everyone was there to have a really good time and enjoy one of the best bands on the planet exactly green day so we arrived at the venue around 6 p.m. the doors were at 7 so we had to wait it really didn't take that long to get in. I think they started letting people in a little bit early before right. 7, which was nice. And there honestly wasn't a big line when we got there. We thought it was We got there at the right time, Because right, as soon as we got there, like, oh, tons of people came. It wrapped around, happens. like, the whole, yeah. like, street around there. And I was like, wow. <laughs> it started happening, like, 10 minutes after we after got there, we got too. There. So I'm glad that we got there when we did. And we once we got in there, we went down to our spot and... Um, we were pretty close, right? Like right two the, or three people behind the, the actual catwalk, catwalk which yeah. we didn't know if there was going to be a catwalk or not, but we're glad there was because that means we get to be even closer right. than we were. And the view was great, especially for you because you're tall. You um, <laughs> could see the whole thing just it, right at me. <laughs> yeah, so the opening band was Against Me, which we're both kind of familiar with, but we're not like necessarily fans. I don't know a ton of their stuff. But I thought they sounded pretty good. Like, I think you said in your video that the microphone sounded yeah, a little bit lower it was a little, than the rest. a little off at some yeah. places. So it was kind of hard to hear everything, but otherwise I think it was a pretty great performance. I like how they're kind of a, a band that makes statements like about, you know, the trans community and all that. Cause right. Because she is, you know, transgender. Right, and obviously that was a huge thing for the punk community, I feel like. Whatever it's that. very punk rock now. Like, a right. lot of people there, like, in the crowd with us, like, are so supportive of that. And right. I just love being around people like that. Cause, they like, get the message of, yes, like, openness. Yes, they support it. And right. that was another, like, great aspect of this show. Like, even to Green Day, it was very political, but in a good way. Like, progressive, you know, right, right. positive. Right, He was making statements not just about, like, Donald Trump for example that was at the very like end of the, the show movement, but just yeah. the movement in general and just love happiness and preaching that and, and kind of not kind to each other right exactly kindness and he was preaching that like let's start it like right here and that oh, sort of that's thing such a great moment so I guess we'll just move into Green Day now. Right. Um, what did they open with? They opened with Know Your Enemy, yeah, which is the famous. first single off of 21st Century Breakdown, which was a huge album. Not my favorite song of theirs, but in a live setting, obviously you You're can't You're going to enjoy anything they help, play. You yeah. can't help but go crazy to it. And that was one of the songs where they brought a fan up. They did that like three times throughout the set, um, which is just, I think even though like obviously John or whoever, nobody we knew got to go up, but like it's still really cool to see like a kid go up there and just like live their dream. Right. 
exactly. and like it makes you so happy because everyone's just cheering for them and it's just like nobody's here to like judge you and right. like, make fun of you like, and nobody's ever. gonna be like oh my god i wanted to hear billy sing that yeah bard nobody's or like being petty like everyone's just so happy for you and it's right. just i don't know it's really cool to see that happen it makes me very, very welcoming community yeah, which i think is i think it's it. awesome that the fans are like that because there's so many people that just hate on green day so relentlessly yeah. like oh they're so bad but the community that they have is so strong and so kind that it, oh, and accepting yeah. that it's just kind that. of like almost a fuck you without saying a fuck <laughs> you to the other people. So let's talk a little bit more about the actual set list here. Um, I was pleased with it. I think both of us oh, were. Yeah, definitely. But we just noticed one thing. We were taking a look at the list and we just realized that they played nothing from Uno, Dos, or Trey. <laughs> just the trilogy got snubbed and ignored right there. And while I'm not the biggest fan, like obviously I love like a tons of songs on the trilogy. I would have liked to have seen some of them live. I just thought it was a little curious that they just totally Totally ignored. Like not even one song. And the fact that those albums, albums, those albums aren't, aren't even that old, you know? It's their last release. So. Right, before Revolution Radio. It's and like, crazy. no 99 Revolutions, Let Yourself Go. I would have liked to have seen some of the songs. Not that that's like a complaint, it's just, I, I don't know, that's, that's crazy. I mean, I'm glad I got to hear a lot of songs from American Idiot. I was very yeah. pleased with that, you know, I wasn't expecting to get to hear Are We The Waiting, St. Jimmy. Yeah, that was, those two yeah. I was really pleased with because I really like those two from American Idiot. It sounded so good live. The guitar was just so good clear on Are We The Waiting. I always love that guitar line that opens it up and just tearing into St. Jimmy from there was oh, incredible. St. Jimmy was epic. That was one of my favorites. Boulevard of obviously was a you huge moment. That like, was I was looking over at you and you were like all teary eyed. I was like, oh my god. If you want the full story on <laughs> that, if you don't know why that's my favorite song and stuff, watch my concert yeah. video that I did on it. about one thing with John though like this is seriously like a moment that he's been waiting for like just to see this band it's been his favorite for like all his life so I was really happy to get to go with him and experience it together um I think a lot of times like we both kind of were just like taking it in like together like yeah. as a couple like oh my god we're both here right now right and, and it's he's right there like, like feet away from our face it's, oh my god it was just incredible like whenever Billy would like lean and he's he literally, was like, like literally right like feet away yeah. from us like right. I never thought we would be that close like and I could have reached out and touched him I know places. we kept trying to <laughs> but oh my gosh it was just really magical right. <laughs> like we we're so lucky and just the fact that he he still seems like he's just taking it all in at times he really like, enjoys performing and he can he uh. takes a look at everyone's faces in the crowd and just like well look when he's not singing he'll just like pull back and like smile or laugh or like yeah. just notice things in the crowd that like makes him happy and I think it's great that he still kind of takes moments to really you know appreciate the audience right and the fans that have supported them for mm -hmm. so long almost 30 years for a band at this point it's crazy to see like you said like the uh, the eclectic mix of fans it's that come such out a of diverse the show crowd because kids are getting into it because of their parents or else they're hearing like still breathing on the radio now. or like, whatever it's getting passed down which is just a wonderful thing because Green Day are like seriously one of the best bands. And then you get to come to the show and you can hear everything from their like first album, 2000 Light Years Just Away, mix, to you know? like the stuff off of Dookie all the way up to American Idiot and Revolution yeah. Radio. <laughs>
played Hitchin' a Ride and some other older ones that I really like, and that was just like a lot of fun to sing along to. Hitchin' a Ride just like broke it all the way down. And during that song, they did it so many times, like the one, two, two one, one, two, two three, three, four. four. And, and it was, was just so like epic. no instruments at one point. It was yeah, just the crowd just shouting. Yeah, screaming it. That's always so much fun that they get the crowd involved so much throughout these shows. Right, he forces you to get involved and to feel it, to stop trying to be cool or whatever preconceived yeah. notion that you have. That's like, uh, just be in this moment with us right mm -hmm. here is what they want. That's like one of the greatest things about like this band is that it's like our show, you know, it's not just you watching them, like you get to be a part of it, you know, we both go back and forth with each other, right. and interact. And, and whenever you see Green Day, you know to expect like Billy's Ayos yeah. and the one, two, one, two, three, four, All getting him to count off. chants and stuff, and it's that's, just so, so I, much fun. I find it really endearing that he still takes the time to do stuff like that, because you could yeah. easily just rip through the set. And, I know, and they do this know. every single night when they're on tour. I don't know how they have the energy. It's like a two and a half hour show. Definitely the longest performance like that I've stood through right. like, for one band. And just the camaraderie that they show between each other and how fun. They're not just... It they really enjoy it. You know, they, they love each they other. Love. And like you were talking about Trey just coming out and just <laughs> Oh like, my <laughs> god. Trey during King for a Day like came out and was like doing... I don't even know. Just like jumping his feet his up His feet to were <laughs> going like up to his face. And like, he has aviator shades <laughs> on. He's like doing singing like really deep and just like being funny. Like he's just hilarious. <laughs> I also want to talk about how, I guess, since you're really tall and I'm really short, like, it, honestly, I did not see very well, like, the whole show, for the most part, except for when they were, like, right out on the catwalk, right, right in front of us, but even then, like, I still had to, like, look through heads, even though we're only, like, three people behind, or two people or something, like, I still, like, I'm just too short, and it really sucked, like, I would be holding, all the clips I got, by the way, is my arm extended as high as it can be, like, that's how short I am. And for anybody who's just, like, <laughs> saying, like, wow, Hannah, you got too much video from the show or something like that. that's really the only way that she's gonna remember it because she couldn't I see. know there was a moment during I think it was during waiting. waiting it was during waiting I believe it was during that song Billy like came out he was like singing to the crowd like on the catwalk and we made eye contact for like two seconds and I was like oh my god like did that just <laughs> fucking happen like when you you had eye contact yeah, a couple times too a couple different times it started with <laughs> know your enemy was the first time there were a couple of short moments there and during King for a day shout whenever yeah. he was behind Jason I think Freeze. he shot with me too. Like he at whenever point. he dropped down to his knees behind Jason, yeah. was just like looking off. He, he looked like right at me and was like, yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> it was so awesome. Like it's such an exhilarating feeling. I know it's just eye contact, but it, this is like somebody, it's acknowledgement. Yeah, it's like somebody that we've been looking up to for so long in the music community, and to finally right. you know have them in front of you is just so amazing. It's like nothing else. So they always do a little cover medley, which I was hoping that they would do, and I really enjoy that because they play songs like Shout, Hey Jude. What else do they play? They played I uh, Can't Get No Satisfaction, yeah, that one too. which was awesome. There's some other like fun Bright songs Side of Life. that uh, everyone knows, like right. the simple lyrics to, and those are always fun to sing along. Because like Billy, I think he was on the floor. He was. <laughs> Aaron, hey Jude. I'm gonna use your clip for that. Yeah, I, got, I took a clip on Hannah's <laughs> camera just because I knew she couldn't see, and I reached up, and Billy's just laying on the floor. Like, so singing. they're all laying on the floor, and they're like Mike was like laying on top of some of the equipment. So I think. Awesome. So the second to last song of the actual like set was Still Breathing, which is probably my favorite song from the new album as of right now. I just think it's, I don't know, it's super catchy and it's emotional, like it has a lot of meaning behind it. It's got a big chorus on yeah, it. Yeah, and that one was really fun to sing to and that was when he came out on the catwalk for like a good majority of that song. I got a pretty good clip of that. He was like right there and I was really, really enjoying that one. <laughs> out with 
uh, Forever Now, which right. is another great song that kind of goes on, it's takes different paths towards the end. Right, and I thought that was really cool that they played that one. It's kind of a multi-part song, yeah. but it, even though they didn't play Somewhere Now, it has the it element has of, the yeah, yeah, it's got the refrain of Somewhere Now in it, which I was really loving. That was like my favorite part of the song right there easily, and that was a great close to like the first part of the show before yeah. they started getting everyone hyped back up for them to come yeah. back up. Yeah, I think it's so funny, because I'm pretty sure he said twice, this is our last song, like, because there are two encores after that first set, they come right. back and play what? what uh, they, they, they started, they, well, they came out with two big songs that I was really excited about, but the first oh. of those was American Idiot, of Yeah, course. American Idiot, which got everyone hyped up. That's, like, one of their most famous songs, and that's when he said, I think, fuck, fuck you, you, Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. <laughs> he shouted everyone, that so Oh, my God. I, like, <laughs> screamed that so oh, loud God. with him. And then they played Jesus of Suburbia, both oh. of our huge favorites. That's my favorite Green Day song. It's incredible. And yeah. that's, like, such a long song. And I was almost dying at that point, but I was like, this is my favorite song, I need you to fucking give it my all. You gotta go hard to it. Was it was so good. My voice at that point was giving out, but I was still like <laughs> shouting it like yeah. so loud. My feet were hurting so bad, I was like just jumping. I was like, I can't give up. They kind of went off stage a little bit, but not really, and then Billy comes back out with an acoustic guitar for the second encore, and they played two stripped down songs from their new yeah. album, they had Ordinary World, and then they yeah. obviously had Time of Your Life. Time of Your Life was the last, the actual last song. During Ordinary World, that's another one of my favorites from the new album, because it is, I mean, it's simple, it's not like anything amazing, but I just think it's a cute little song, and it was cool to finally hear that live. It does get me kind of in the feels, especially right there, I was kind of taking in that moment, because it was closing the set, you know, literally one of the last songs of the show, and I just like looked over at John, and I was like, holy shit, like a year ago from now, we like hadn't even met yet, Not in but we've been talking, but like we weren't dating or anything. And it's just insane to think about a year from now, like we're both seeing one of our favorite bands, his favorite band, like together. together. Yeah. And I like the lyrics in that song, and I was just like holding your hand through a lot of it, which all, throughout the show, a lot of times we were both like going up in the air yeah. like together, because so we're like, this is our moment. I also want to circle back to the beginning of the show before um, anybody came on, like when the crowd was just kind of getting into the building. Right. We were both like standing in our spots, and I guess some Green Day account a posted account. Yeah. a photo of like the pit, like from all the way up in the seats. <laughs> and we and were there. So, all in all, I think this was definitely like one of the best shows that I've ever been to. Like I said, it's one that I've been, a band that I've been trying to see for so long. I finally crossed it off our lists. And we're actually seeing them again in September. I don't even right. remember what actual date it's it is. It's September 1st, and September it's with 1st. the Catfish in the Bottom, and that's going to so be a great show. So that'll be a pretty good show. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually going to be in the lawn for that, but I mean, we wanted to get the experience in the pit. Right. We got it, so now it's not like that big of a deal, but I still think we're going to have a lot of fun. And if the set list turns out to be like, oh my god, like so incredible, well, maybe no. I'll have to see what I can do about forking over my life savings to buy some pit tickets oh off stuff up. Let me know if you guys went to this concert, like to this tour. If you are going, what date are you going to and how was your experience at this show? Like we both had a blast. Oh, yeah. We are exhausted. This is the day after that we're filming this and we literally slept until like after 1 p.m. We are <laughs> dead. Like our feet, like I'm just so... If I had had to go gone. to work today, I don't know what I would have done. If I had school today, oh my god. Yeah, like we're so lucky this was on a weekend. But, yep. um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, kind of a little rerun of our experience at the concerts. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. Go subscribe to John's channel if you are already. You already are, I know you are. Check out my concert John video that I did. John also did a video, yes. Yeah. Go check that out um, if you want to hear more in-depth experience on what he felt during that. <laughs> <laughs> like all the feelings, the deep feelings that I was yes, having. Yes, it was a very emotional time. But uh, yeah, thanks so much everyone for watching this video and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I will see you guys next time. Yay!